Hi guys and welcome to Andy Robinson RC and uh, on today's episode we have this the Tamiya 2020 Fire Dragon re-release as you can see it's now all done and built and today we're going to give it a bit of a run now I haven't been here for a while but we're back at Fairhaven Lake I like to use the, uh, the bowling green here makes a change from uh, all the uh, tarmac we seem to run on so we've, uh, we've got this built, um, it was quite a good build, I enjoy it really. Um, I've never built one of these, um, the Fire Dragon or any on this particular chassis before, so I didn't quite know uh, what to expect, but it was a nice uh, build, quite easy, uh, nothing really tricky, except the only main problem I had, which you can't see here, but the um, within the uh, where the propeller joint sits and where the gears are inside, uh, on the, the lathe shaft for the propeller joint, there's um, a little D-shaped white plastic. Uh, it looks like half a bearing, but it's like a D-shaped spacer that sits in there next to a thrust washer. And I had some problems with that, seating it properly and, and it's staying where it should do. And, and it did give a bit of a clicking noise. And I had, the whole, I had to drop the whole back end off the car um, and uh, take it to pieces and I stripped it down again, rebuilt it uh, and it, it, it's better. It's not perfect but there's nothing wrong with it. There's uh, built everything correctly as it should be done and uh, but we've got it running now and it drives absolutely fine but if you're building one of these just check that you seat everything correctly uh, when you put the propeller shafts in. Okay right so uh, we'll put this down give it a bit of a, a run and see what it's like. Uh, it is running on a 7.2 volt NIM battery pack and uh, we've just got the kit standard 540 motor. It's all stock, exactly as you'd get it uh, from the kit, except we did add some uh, metal bore races throughout as well. Right, anyway, let's uh, see what it's like. Nice and responsive. And then, if you remember us when we had the Terra Scorcher on the channel, then it does pretty much drive like that. It is the same chassis almost, apart from the optional extras you get with the Terra Scorcher. But, you know, it does drive nicely. And it's only on stock tyres, but it's uh, really nice. It's what you'd expect, really. Okay. All right. I mean, we won't do too much of a massive running video with this. I was going to say, if you've uh, already seen the Terra Scorcher video, or you've got any of the other series of cars like the uh, Thunder Dragon, Thunder Shot, and of course the uh, the Vintage Fire Dragon, you know how these run. But yeah, it drives nicely. Um, the handling's good. I say, um, I say, it's all completely standard. But there you go. So uh, I'll tell you what I do like on these uh, re-releases is that the, the motor plate that they've uh, fitted now is a lot thicker and it's a lot better. I think that helps with running if you're running hot motors really. It probably cools it down a bit better than the uh, thinner motor plate. But yeah, there we go. So that is uh, the 2020 Tamiya Fire Dragon re-release. And it's all done. All right, okay. Uh, cheers for checking this video out. Much appreciated as always. And uh, if you haven't already and want to see more content from us, you can please consider uh, subscribing to the channel, hitting that like button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Right, take care and we'll see you next time. See ya.